temperature slowly starting to drop, but it's still a cat it's still a category five with winds up to 175. Very dangerous storm. Here is the latest on Katrina right now. And as we look at the central pressure here down to 906 right now, you can compare these to some amazing hurricanes from the past. The Labor Day hurricane of 1935 was 892. Camille was 909 when it made landfall. Andrew was 922 by comparison. So this is a very very dangerous storm. You can see it now working to the north in the visible satellite picture. We had some information from the buoys here about wind, but those buoys have been knocked out. The winds are picking up along the coast. We're getting up to tropical storm force now, and as the system continues to lift to the north here, we are going to see increasing wind, increasing waves. The waves now up into the lower 20s here offshore in south and east of Pensacola. Wave heights could be as high as 25 feet, maybe 30 to 40 feet near the center of the storm as it comes in, and that will be towards the the middle of the day tomorrow. Let's talk about that path once again. Jennifer. And the projected path still taken in in that northwest direction, coming very close to Louisiana, over into southern Mississippi, as well as into Mobile Bay. That would be where the center of circulation comes through. And then as it moves on land, a big concern with winds, Dill, and the potential for some inland flooding. So as Mike was mentioning, we're expecting conditions to go downhill around Mo Mobile Bay later tonight. As you can see, the this, this hurricane still offshore but the winds are going to start to increase and the rain is also going to be pick up. So just to the east of the center of circulation, the worst part to be with a threat of severe weather continuing. Carl? Just ahead, we'll have much more on this exceptionally powerful storm. And I'm meteorologist Stephanie Abrams live in Gulf Shores, Alabama. We just got our first band of rain here. 